Welcome back. The Chief Medical Director of the University of Calabar Teaching Hospital, Thomas Agan, has sued for calm by members of the public following the death of a Benue State Lassa fever patient uh, while on admission in the hospital. While speaking to Channel Television in the state capital on the issue, Dr. Agan said that there was no cause for alarm as the matter is under control, according to him. Uh, the victim, Itodo Cristobal, became sick in Benue State, where she was hospitalized and requested to be transferred to a hospital in Calabar. The wife of a, a soldier serving in Calabar, uh, they live in Benue uh, the, the, the wife got sick in Benue State and traveled down to Calabar, uh, where they, they live, because her husband is a soldier who lives in Nebru to barracks. And, um, Right now, the husband is in Meduguri. Uh, she came and got admitted in never um, uh, able to clinic for some days. From there, we were referred to Navy Reference Center. And uh, from Navy Reference Center, she went into kidney failure and was brought in here on Sunday because of the kidney failure. And she died in less than 12 hours of stay here. The Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has opened his defense at the State Election Petition Tribunal in the ongoing hearing of the petition filed by Osage Izeyamu and the People's Democratic Party. Six witnesses testified at the resume hearing in a bid uh, for the APC to defend the result of the governorship election being challenged by the PDP and its candidate. After a few days' break at the ongoing Edo State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal sessions, certain resumes with the All Progressives Congress APC and the Governor of Edo State, Mr. Gordon Obaseki, opening their defense with six witnesses testifying. The counsel to the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and the party's candidates in the governorship election, Usagi Eze Yamu, took turns to cross-examine the witnesses, insisting that everything is going according to plan. So far, so fine. So far, so good. The proceedings are going very well. And um, all that has happened has been within the contemplation of the tactics that uh, we planned for the case. It implies that um, the team prepared very well. That's what it implies. Because when you have a matter of this nature, you have what I call professional meetings. And you work out what is likely to happen. You make prognosis. And you try to look at the issues. The counsel to the APC, however, says the party has confidence in its witnesses as it trusts them to tell the truth about the election. We are impressed with all our witnesses. Because they came to tribunal, you can see that they spoke the truth. Uh, none of them was shaking under cross-examination. And um, as far as we are concerned, they have established, at least in the units from which we presented um, witnesses, that elections went on smoothly and that there was no issue of any complaint by anybody, not even the petitioner's agents. So we are, we are, we are very satisfied with them. More witnesses are expected to appear in the coming days as the APC and Godwin Obaseki seek to defend the result of the September 28, 2016 election. The era of underfunding secondary school education in Yobe State is over, and this is according to the state governor, Ibrahim Gaydam. The governor has also, also says that his government is currently looking into the issues of students receiving lectures under trees and eating unhealthy food in schools across the state. In their numbers, the students of government secondary school Guyokura turn out to welcome the governor of Yobe State, who has directed a complete overhaul of their school, the first of its kind since its construction in 1992. Governor Ibrahim Gaydam frowns at the decay of infrastructure in a school which is so far notable for good results from the SSC and NECO examinations each year. They were managing no hostels. I was also made to understand that uh, the students. Most of them are sleeping in the classrooms. It was a very pathetic case, as indicated by the Honorable Commissioner. I think it was unfortunate, and I was made to understand also that uh, this school was initially built about 30 years ago, something like that. 
The idea to renovate schools across the state is to bring back youth interest in education after many deadly attacks on communities by Boko Haram insurgents. By constructing the, these new buildings and renovating the two blocks of classroom available to them that time, uh, the hardship of sleeping maybe in the classrooms and uh, taking lessons outside the classroom under the trees is becoming history. Going by the words of the governor that the security problem in the state is fading away and maintains that his administration will ensure students receive lectures on a conducive atmosphere while plans are in place to equip the classes, libraries, laboratory and staff quarters with modern furniture, books amongst others. But now, life has been restored to the school. Sure. The school has gotten not only a face lift but a body lift and it is now comparable to any school anywhere. The Yoba State Government is currently renovating three secondary schools across the state aimed at repositioning the education sector. That's news across Nigeria. Thank you for watching. I'm Joker Rogers.